Hi everyone, this is Hannah, and this little girl here is Woolly Worm. So she was born March 12th, 2022, and her mom was really small. She only looked like she was going to have a single. We went out to the barn March 2nd, and Woolly Worm's dam had lost her ligaments. And we watched her that day. We didn't put her in the kidney stall because she was a little bit skittish. So we didn't want to stress her out and slow the process. She started doing a little bit of pushing, so we went in the stall and she then refused to push. So I did go in and once I had my hand in her, she did start pushing and I helped her along with little Woolly Worm here. And once Woolly Worm came out, Woolly Worm was pretty non-responsive. So I grabbed the nasal aspirator and I tried sucking the goop out of her nose and her throat and what do you know, the nasal aspirator broke. So my mom ran into the house to get our second nasal aspirator and Woolly Worm was continuing to lay there, really non-responsive, and I was worried she was going to die. So I ended up just giving her mouth to mouth, and I sucked the, um, I sucked the fluid out of her nose, and it was really disgusting. But I ended up, she had marconium and fluid up her nose and in her throat. Once I got that out, she started being more responsive. She started crying. So my mom, a few minutes later, after I got that out of her nose and she started being a little bit more responsive, mom came out or came back into the kidding stall with the nasal aspirator. And I used that. I finished cleaning anything out of her nose and her mouth. And then I got Woolly Worm up and put her between a towel. I started stimulating her to get her going, get her dried off, and warmed up. And then we got Ruby up, and we got Woolly Worm on, and nursing, and Woolly Worm was doing a lot better. She was doing really good. Um, and I reached in, and there was another kid in Ruby, and she did not feel like pushing because she was scared, and did not like us in there. So I went in, I pulled the second kid out, and it was the tiniest buckling ever. He was so tiny and so cute. So, I fell in love with Woolly Worm from pretty much the moment I, she was born because I saved her life, so we had kind of a connection there. And I just absolutely loved her. I've never, I've never really liked the black oats before. I thought they were a little bit dull, but I absolutely fell in love with Woolly Worm and she was completely fluffy and cute and she had a little moon spot on her eye and then she has a couple on her belly and she has one right here it's a little silvery brown moon spot um so yeah she was just cute and adorable and fluffy and moon spotted and I really really loved her we've only seen one of Woolly Worm's Sire's daughter's freshen, and she was really nice. She has nice milkable teats, and she has nice attachment on the sides. And so, yeah, we are really hoping, I'm really hoping the Woolly Worm's going to be awesome. Woolly Worm is bred in October with the rest of her does, but she decided she wasn't going to take. And right about the time we are going to do pregnancy tests, she went back into heat again. We had to give it another month for Woolly Worm. But Woolly Worm's pregnancy test came back positive, and she is due in April. Her belly isn't super big, so not thinking she's going to have a ton of babies. I'm hoping she'll give me twins. She was bred to Beryl, and he is amazing. His dam was top 10 in the entire U.S.
So I'm hoping she will give me a moon spotted cream doling. That would be really fun. She is halter trained. She is leash trained. Um, she really likes going on walks and she is completely comfortable with the milk room. I have made an effort to bring her in here and give her treats in the milk room, get her used to getting on the stand. Um, she still sticks her head through the wrong slot in the milk room or the milk stand, but besides that, she's pretty good. And she is just starting to get a little utter. And you can see she's a pretty well behaved girl here. Storm's gonna have her babies here in just a couple months. Willy Worm got her name from the Woolly Worm, otherwise known as Woolly Bear Caterpillars. They are black with brown stripes on them. And she is black with her little brown moon spots. And she is she has super long hair compared to a lot of her other nose. It's definitely a fluffy little thing. Thanks for watching this video guys. I will put a link to her page down in the description as well as Beryl's page, the box she was brought to. Be sure to check out our kidding schedule and get reservations down for her kids and she does have moon spots possible in her kids and the kid's grandma is in the top 10.